In fact, the last 1,000 miles of the Nile River only pitches 100 feet. So basically, we're, we're going to layer our Nile River on top of the globe. And you can see it's floating up in the air on each end 300 miles. You must remember him. Three quarters of a million of you watched it. Well, today he's back and he's making silly statements left, right and centre. Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Flat Earth Friday with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Right, back to today's video and one Anthony Bear. This time around, he thinks Italy proves a flat earth. This should be interesting. Of course, he sends me a screenshot of this and he's like, hey, uh, basically, uh, thanks for proving the globe, dude. So I show this photo to my better half and I go, where is this? Can you look on the globe and see where that is? She goes, that's Italy. I go, no way. She's like, that's Italy. Take a look. I'm like, holy mackerel, it is Italy. Okay, so let's cruise through the footage. Okay, this is what they normally show you from the ISS, you know, just a bunch of clouds. But uh, over here, they, sh they showed you some land. Like, where is that? It's Italy. There's one little island there. There's two little islands there. Obviously, Italy. Yes, it's Italy. Is there a point to this, Anthony? So check it out. I took the photo and I later, <laughs> I printed it. Don't make fun of my black and white printer. And then I finished the radius. So I, uh, I copied the radius from the photograph. And then I s scaled out using Google Maps, I scaled out Italy. An excellent attempt, but I'm afraid this isn't going to prove anything. I'm going to let you finish though. And uh, here's the compass I used to draw my circle. So the compass is, uh, the radius is 25 and a half, which makes it a 51 inch circle. And Italy is 17 and a half inches. So you take 17 and a half and you divide it by 51 and you get 34%. So Italy is 34% of the globe. You mean 34% of the globe's surface that you can see in this photo. I don't think it's claimed that this photo represents the entire surface of the globe, is it? Does Italy look like 34% of the globe? Nope. I'll let him keep digging. I'm going to go with no. So what you're, what you're looking at is high altitude balloon footage. And they're using a fisheye lens to artificially curve the earth. But by that logic, I can say the same thing. Where is the rest of the earth from this balloon footage? Does Italy take up 34% of the flat earth? You see the issue? Now, by artificially curving the earth, you're making the earth too small. You're making it out of scale. So that 100% proves they're using a fisheye lens. It also proves at high altitude, it, it, the horizon's flat because if it's not flat, it would it's out of scale. This makes way more sense to me. I'm sure it does, but let me show you why you're wrong. Now this is all to do with how far away or how close the camera is when taking a photo of Earth. We've seen it before when flat earthers argue about different size of continents, the Amer uh, North American continent, for example, being bigger in one photo and smaller in another. And we've shown how we can prove this wrong using my globe. So here is a clip of Italy looking pretty much the same with a curve of the Earth, or as close as I could get to with my camera on my globe. And look what happens when I zoom out. Italy gets smaller and the globe shows itself. Ta-da! Well, what a finish that was to that video. But we're only halfway through today because we're gonna look at another one of Anthony's videos. I know you love him so much and that was quite a short one. So we're gonna look at another video from Anthony today. And this time he's looking through his camera and he thinks he's got some flat earth proof. I wonder if his second video will fare any better. Let's find out. Okay, we're at the Selfridge boat launch. Let's make a quick video. Here's the sheriff station. Here's the South River channel right there. And then uh, 
we move out here. Here is the Go, Go Island Tower. And there's a pan right here. There, here is the uh, Seaway Island. And there's that tower, uh, Lake St. Clair Lighthouse, right there, that brown thing. And see them trees back there? It's shaking so bad. See those trees right there next by that tower? Right there. See the trees? Now those trees, let me show you how far they are. And uh, let's zoom back out here. Uh, you ain't going to see that with your eyes. No way. And here I am at the corner of the boat launch. Now these sorts of videos don't usually go as well as you would hope, Anthony, in terms of flat earthers. But I've got my fingers crossed for you, buddy. Here's a better look at those trees. At the Selfridge boat launch, and uh, I'm at that corner I showed you. And the screws over here. Here is, uh, here is the South River Channel right there. And we could cruise up here. And here is Gaw Island, 10 miles away. I made a video on that, by the way. You go back and look. Here's those trees on the end of the Seaway Island. And somewhere around here, there's a lighthouse. Let's zoom out. And basically, I'm, I'm looking at right through here. Here's a lighthouse. And somewhere around here. <laughs> 25 miles away. <laughs> That's amazing. Seems amazing. I hope you haven't made any mistakes there, though. Please continue. Okay, so let's go to the Earth Curve Calculator. Now, I didn't make up this calculator. It's an, it's science. It's the Earth Curve Calculator. Now, I put it roughly at 8 feet height for the camera and uh, 25 miles for the viewing distance. And if you look over here, there's 309 feet of hidden curvature. So the, the tree should be down 309 feet below the horizon. So if you're a proponent of the globe, you're going to say, well, you got to take refraction into consideration. Well, <laughs> so you tell me, you're going to tell me these trees are refracting up 309 feet exactly to line right up with the horizon, right even with that mirror line on that tower. Uh, yeah, welcome to Clown World. Funny you should say Clown World, because we're about to have a laugh tearing this apart. Now, from the looks of your video, you are stood right here. And from your own video, your very own video, you're saying that the trees in your view are around Stony Point, which is some 40 kilometers away. The trouble with this, though, Anthony, is... Your line of sight goes straight through McRae Harbour. Now, isn't it far more likely that these trees are, in fact, the trees in the photo at a distance of around 16 and a half kilometres away? The clue is the lighthouse in front of them. As you can see here, there are several lighthouses in front of these trees. Now, if we plug all this info into the curve calculator, what do we get? We get a hidden value of around six metres. Now, Trees are around six meters, perhaps a little more, which is why we're seeing the tippy tops of them. Seems to match perfectly, matey. Dear, oh dear, what a massive fail that is. I was rooting for you in everything. Well, there we go. What a finish that is. But for now, I'm afraid we're all done and dusted for another Flat Earth Friday. Anthony never fails to disappoint, does he? Thank you so much for watching today. It truly is appreciated. If you enjoyed today, please do consider subscribing to the channel. And of course, if you really enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button too. Uh, and if you really, really, really enjoyed it, then sharing it would be very much appreciated. Just another word from me about today's sponsors, Ada Health. Take Ada Health's free questionnaire to see if you're at high risk of developing severe COVID-19. And you can find out if you're eligible for treatment. Just click the link in the description. I've been Simon and Dan. Have yourselves a cracking weekend. And I'll see you all on Tuesday for another Evolution Classic. See you then. <laughs>